Hi, Pete Moore, Editor of Shooting Sports Magazine. Got a new straight pull here. It's called the Straza. Um, last year, Sportsman Gun Centre imported the Straza design, which is a, a straight pull switch barrel. Um, small run, interesting rifle, um, and certainly quite different to the, the straight pulls we're used to in some ways. The rifle um, is ambidextrous. As can be seen, it has what I would term as twin ejection ports. Uh, this is because when you, you can nominate a left-handed gun and Stras will simply supply a left-handed bolt. Unlike a, a Remington, for example, where they have to machine the receiver to suit, this gun just requires a bolt, nothing else. Uh, the original RS-05 was a switch rail, as I said, and very good. Straza, with the Solo this year, have decided to make a fixed barrel gun, uh, which slices the price down considerably, as, as we shall see. Um, pretty much everything else is the same about the gun, and if you haven't seen it before, we'll go through it. First of all, the straight pull action works on a short stroke lever here, uh, pushes forward to lock, pulls back to unlock. Locking is by four quadrants that are forced into engagement into the ring of the uh, front of the uh, barrel um, by the firing pin assembly coming forward. Um, There's also a cocked action indicator pin, which you can see. If you look up there, you can just see the pin rising in the gun's cocked. As you can also see that the bolt is the bolt handle is forward here and it's locked. So when you shoot the thing, it's boom, boom, and it is a surprisingly smooth action. I was, my colleague who's helped me do the shooting today, he noted how smooth it was, and he shot my R8, um, which is quite nice. Uh, the other thing I really like about this gun is the scope mount. It's a one-piece unit. That lever there controls it all. Basically, push the catch in, pull it back, and off it comes. As you can see, there's a T-shaped locking lug and one, two, three location lugs. Um, again, you can see one, two, three there. So the scope unit goes on, engages, and just put the lock forward and it's there. It's easy on, easy off, and like any good QD system, it's, it's instantly turned to zero. It's not really needed on a fixed barrel gun, but I think Strauss have thought, when it's there, why change it? Which I think is quite logical. Also unique about this rifle is the fact you can pull the trigger mech out and inside a couple of seconds, change the trigger weight. There's the trigger mech complete, and you can see you have this rod here. What you do, if, I don't know if you can see it with my big fat finger in the way, lift it up and slide it to another position. That's heavy. In the middle, it's medium, and forward, it's light. And basically, you have a weight of between two and a half to five and a half pounds from, from light to heavy with sort of about four pounds in the middle for medium. Um, it's up to you how you set it, but it's it's not a gimmick, it's quite nice. Um, the, the other thing, being a typical European or say German product, the rifle has a single set trigger. What you do, you cock the gun, and if you want a really light release, you push it forward, you see there, and it's just a, 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 a literally a kiss away to shoot it. Problem is, with a, with a, a very light trigger, you need to be aware and don't put your finger until you want to pull the trigger because it's easy enough to make mistakes. Uh, the stock is black, hence the name Panther, and it's not polymer, it's wood with what looks like an overspray of a sort of mastic type rubber. Um, it makes it look quite nice. Um, it get, does get scratched really, so I'm not sure about that. Magazine release is button there, button there, which you push together which forces you to cup your hand under the gun. So basically, thumb and trigger finger, hit those buttons, mag falls out in your hand. And it's not a gimmick, it's quite clever because it's easy enough to lose one of these mags in long grass if you change it. So this puts it in your hand so it's let, it, it, at least you've got hold of the damn thing. Barrel is a surprisingly short 21 inches. Um, it's 22 standard on the, on the RS05, so <clears throat> I'm not sure why Strava have done this, but they have. Um, this gun's in 243, and so I thought I'd fit a moderator. And this is 
the uh, Sonic 35, 35 mil moderator from Highland Outdoors. It's a multi-baffle reflex unit, and as you can see, it's quite slim and light, and testing today outside has proved that it's well up to the task of uh, suppressing even high-speed 243s that are clocking 3,200 feet per second. Um, it's a gun that grows on you. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it, it does grow on you. Uh, there's no decocker as you'd find on a Mauser or a Blas or a similar type system. Uh, this is a safety catch. It pushes down the safe and flicks up to fire. So you cock the gun. This is fire mode. You can see it's up. Then if you want to put it on to, uh, put it safe, you just put your thumb at the top and press down. And if, you're, if you want to decock it, just press the button in. And pull back. Okay, ammunition is Hornaday 243 75 grain SST, um, which is a quick round, so it should be clocking a good 3200 3250 feet per second in a gun like this. And I'll just show you the what is a very smooth action. Put my ears on, magazine in. That's pretty smooth. This is nice. It hits the price break about $14.95 compared to $2,300 of an RSO5. And I think it's well worth a look if you want something a little bit different from a straight pull rifle. See ya.